Hello everyone, Dr. Polaris here. Although many groups of large pseudosuchians became extinct during the end Triassic extinction event, the small and adaptable crocodiliforms survived, continuing to diversify in the Jurassic alongside the non-avian dinosaurs. Despite being the ancestors of modern crocodilians, these animals would have appeared very different from their living relatives, being mostly small, almost entirely terrestrial carnivores. Many forms possessed elongated, erect limbs positioned directly beneath their bodies, indicating good running ability and likely raised mesothermic metabolisms. Once grouped together into a broad clade called Protosuchia, recent studies have found this placement to be invalid, with these forms instead being a grade leading up to the more derived Notosuchia and Neosuchia groupings. These early crocodiliforms were all modest in size, with the largest being no more than 3 metres or 10 feet long, with the majority being only 3 feet long or less. Dwelling in dinosaur-dominated ecosystems throughout the Mesozoic, these animals inhabited niches that would today be taken by mustelids, mongooses and small felids. Although their heyday appears to have extended from the late Triassic to the early Cretaceous, between approximately 220 to 135 million years ago. Some genera survived into the Campanian stage of the late Cretaceous. The most basal of these early crocodiliforms were a family known as Protosuchidae, containing four named genera and an additional undescribed member from the Kayenta formation. These were small carnivores native to Eurasia, Africa and the Americas. The oldest known form, Hemiprotosuchus, was recovered from the late Triassic Los Colorados formation of Argentina, dating to Norian-aged rocks approximately 215 million years old. Its much better known relative and sister genus Protosuchus measured about 1 meter or 3 feet 3 inches long, with three species dated to Arizona, Nova Scotia and South Africa. The animal was a terrestrial predator with a blunt snout and a skull that appeared triangular when viewed from above, much like that of living crocodilians. The teeth on the bottom jaw also fitted into notches on the sides of the upper jaw when the mouth was closed, a feature typical of crocodiliforms. The rear of the skull housed powerful jaw muscles, giving Protosuchus a dangerous bite, while the back and tail were covered in a double row of osteoderms. The limbs were elongated and slender, demonstrating an animal that actively chased after small prey, including early mammalia forms and rhynchocephalians. A significantly later and stranger genus in the family was native to the early Cretaceous of western China about 128 million years ago. Named Edentosuchus, this unusual animal possessed markedly heterodont teeth, with crushing molariforms at the rear of the jaws and slim incisiform teeth at the front. This suggests a possibly herbivorous or omnivorous diet, traits which were also quite commonplace in the mostly Gondwanan Notosuchian clade. Following on from the Protosuchids were the more derived family Gobiosuchidae. Native to Spain and Mongolia from the Beremian stage of the Cretaceous to the Campanian between 129 and 71 million years ago, these animals were also small terrestrial carnivores. The best known genus was Gobiosuchus, unsurprisingly an inhabitant of the ancient Gobi Desert, dwelling in an arid region characterised by sand dunes, ephemeral water sources and accompanying limited greenery. Gobiosuchus was a somewhat fox-like carnivore with a slender, narrow snout. Plenty of potential prey items were present in the same ecosystem, including a variety of rodent-like multituberculates, lizards and small dinosaurs such as the chicken-sized Alverosaurs Shuvuia. A close relative, Zorasuchus, was present at the same fossil site as well, among a number of other small terrestrial pseudosuchians. One of these was a slightly more derived crocodiliform genus called Zosuchus, an animal with a very short and blunt snout. Zosuchus was closely related to several late Jurassic and early Cretaceous Asian forms, including the curiously long-snouted Sichuanosuchus and the slender 1-meter Shantungasuchus. Another family in a similar phylogenetic position were the Shartegasuchids. These were among the smallest of all pseudosuchians, with the late Jurassic genus Nominosuchus measuring just 60 centimetres, or about 2 feet long, and weighing a mere 2.2 pounds at full adult size. Like most early crocodiliforms, this animal was a slender, leggy and terrestrial ambush predator. A more famous and slightly larger genus was a member of the famous Morrison Formation fauna, dwelling alongside iconic dinosaurs such as Allosaurus, Diplodocus and Stegosaurus, 
in Colorado during the Tithonian approximately 150 million years ago. This was Fruta champsa, a highly unusual animal that really looked like a crocodile trying to be a house cat. Measuring about three feet long, this genus was a small carnivore with proportionally large eyes, a short snout, and erect limbs. Unlike living crocodilians, the skull was not flattened and was rather square in shape when seen from above. The upper jaw contained a small notch near the tip of the snout, behind which were a pair of canine-like teeth utilised for grabbing and puncturing the flesh of small prey. The teeth at the rear of the jaws were triangular and sharp. Potential prey would have included invertebrates, multituberculates, and potentially the contemporary tiny heterodontosaurid Frutidens. It is also quite likely that Fruta champsa would have eaten the eggs and hatchlings of much larger dinosaurs if given the chance. Interestingly, two additional modestly sized terrestrial pseudosuchians were present at the Morrison Formation as well, both of which were members of the more basal crocodilomorph family Halopodidae, as mentioned in a previous video. The genus Marcellonathus was discovered in the same quarry as Fruta champsa, but was a larger, longer snouted animal up to six feet long inhabiting a more fox-like ecological niche. The most derived of all the so-called protosuchians was the genus Cisosuchus, from the mid to late Jurassic of China. This was the largest early crocodiliform, measuring roughly 10 feet long, and possessing an appearance closer to that of familiar living crocodilians, with a moderately elongated, somewhat flattened skull and proportionally shorter limbs. These features may suggest a semi-aquatic ambush hunting lifestyle, although the teeth are more blade-like than living crocodiles and alligators. Beyond these protosuchians, crocodiliforms split into two broad and highly successful lineages, with these being the Notosuchians and the Neosuchians and their close relatives. The former were highly diverse and tended to be terrestrial animals mostly native to the southern continents, while the latter began to experiment with increasingly semi-aquatic niches and included the direct ancestors of modern crocodilians. This is not to take away from the success of the so-called protosuchians, however, as these small and somewhat marginal animals persisted for almost the entirety of the Mesozoic despite heavy competition. They held on to their almost carnivoran-like niches probably right up until the end of the Maastrichtian, living alongside early carnivorous mammals including Triconodonts and Metatherians. They may be long gone, but these leggy little animals still live on in the genetic history of crocodiles, alligators and gharials with us today. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you feel like sponsoring me please feel free to head over to my Patreon page, where ad free versions of my videos will be posted along with other perks. The next episode will cover the marsupial lions of the family Thylacoleonidae, so until then I'll see you again soon. Cheerio!